हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज मेनका नलावडे फ्रॉम सी के ठाकुर कॉलेज एंड आई एम फ्रॉम बी एम एस डिपार्टमेंट टुडे विल बी लुकिंग एट अ डायरेक्ट टैक्सेस सब्जेक्ट एंड फ्रॉम दैट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इनकम फ्रॉम हाउस प्रॉपर्टी इनकम फ्रॉम हाउस प्रॉपर्टी इज वन ऑफ द फाइव हेड्स ऑफ इनकम दैट इज वी हैव गॉट इनकम फ्रॉम सैलरीज इनकम फ्रॉम हाउस प्रॉपर्टी इनकम फ्रॉम कैपिटल गेन्स profits and gains from business and profession and income from other sources these are the five heads of income in direct taxes on the basis of which we have to charge tax and pay tax on, on our income so income from house property is one of them so let us begin these are certain sections that we will be covering in our chapter that is from section 22 to 27 so let us look at the first section that is section 22 section 22 has is talking about the charging section that is what is giving us the authority who is giving us the authority to charge income from our house property is what is being talking about here section 22 says income tax defines basis charges of income under the head of income uh, under the head uh, income from house property let us see what it says it states that annual value of the property consisting of any building or land appurtenant thereto of which the assessee is the owner shall be chargeable to income tax under the head income from house property now what does this mean this means that there are certain conditions based on which we have to charge income on the uh, house property okay that is let us look at these conditions one by one first it says that property should consist of any building or land appurtenant there to the statement we read in section 22 it means that there has to be a property property as in a residential property okay so when we are talking about building here we are talking about the residential property which has got proper structure of it which which has got a permanent structure like there is a floor there are walls there is roof okay so those Uh, uh buildings which are where uh, which are uh, residential okay are uh, coming under this uh, word building and then it says that land appurtenant there to land appurtenant there to means what any land which is, which is attached to your building like say for example there must be garage there must be uh, garden okay so such uh, uh, land is also covered under this uh, house property definition next it says assessee should be the owner of the property yes the person who is letting out the property has to be the owner of the property and then and then only that assessee is uh, liable to pay tax under this head next it says that the property should not be used by the owner for the purpose of any business or profession yes if you are letting or if if uh, the assessee is using this property for his business purpose or for his prof uh, for his uh, profession purpose then this property whatever rent you are earning out of that uh, uh, will not be charged under income from other source uh, sorry income from house property so basically when we are giving out my property only for residential purpose that income will be charged under income from house property moving on to next slide let us look at some examples wh wherein we can see that the condition that we have read right now are fulfilling or not so this is an example this is mr a who is owner of what owner of plot of land okay he is letting out this plot of land to mr b and the moment he is letting out his land to mr b mr b will be in turn giving this rent to mr a so my question is will mr a charge this rent under ifhp that is income from house property that is the question now let us go back and check the conditions that we have seen here we have said that the assessee should be the owner uh, sorry the first is there has to be some property yes we are having this land can we consider land under our residential property no why because there is no permanent structure as such here is in in our example we just have plot of land okay so our first condition is not getting satisfied and that is the reason whatever income mr a will earn out of this rent 
will not be covered as IFHT. Instead, this will be covered under income from other sources. Why? Because land is not a house property. Why? Because our first condition is not getting satisfied. I hope this is clear. Moving on to next slide. This is another example where Mr. A is owner. He is letting out the property to Mr. B who is a tenant. Mr. B in return will be paying the rent to Mr. A. Further, Mr. B is subletting the house to Mr. C. So, Mr. C will be called subtenant. And C in return will be paying to Mr. B the rent. So, Mr. B if he is paying the rent to Mr. A, will this be charged under IFHP? Let us look at the conditions. The very first condition was there has to be a house property, right? So, do we have this house property? Yes. So, my first condition is satisfied. Second condition is what? Second condition is the SSE should be the owner. Mr. A is owner of the house property. Are our second condition is getting satisfied? Yes, our second condition is getting satisfied. And talking about the third condition is that the SSC is not having any business or profession in that property. So, is that the case? No, that is not the case. So, basically, our all the three conditions are getting satisfied. So, yes, we can say that Mr. A will tax this rent under IFHP head. Talking about the second example, Mr. C is giving rent to Mr. B. Shall we charge this under IFHP? So, let us check. First condition, is there a house property? Yes, there is a house property. Second condition is, SSC should be the owner. Now, Mr. B, is he the owner of the property? No, he is not. He is the tenant. Okay. So, our second condition is not getting satisfied. That is the reason this will not be charged under IFHP. Instead, this will be charged under income from other sources because our second condition is not getting satisfied. I hope section 22 is clear with everyone. Now, there are certain types of house properties. We have got let out property. We have got self-employed uh, occupied property. Let out property means what? If Mr. A, in our previous example, we saw that Mr. A is giving out some house to Mr. B for staying purpose, for residential purpose. Okay. So, whenever we let out some property and we are earning some rent out of that, that rent is taxable under the head IFHP and that kind of, you know, event or transaction that is happening between the two is because of let out property. Now, when we are talking about house properties, there are certain people who are staying in their own houses, right? So, that property where I am staying in my own house is called self-occupied property. Now, in this case also, we have bifurcated into two things that is SOP and SOPR. SOP means where I am staying, okay? So, that is that house will, is generally ignored when we uh, calculate the uh, uh, calculate for the taxation purpose like, like your NAV okay uh, th uh, that that becomes nil there now when we are talking about SOPR let us move on to another slide SOPR means what any person who has got more than one house property let us see here you have got one example one house property is in Pune and another house property is in Mumbai so being an SSC I will be staying either in one of the houses right so let us take an example I am staying in Mumbai okay and I have, I am staying in Pune as well. I am staying in both the houses. But I have not let out this property. Then in that case, one of the houses will be considered as deemed to be let out property. Okay. And whenever there is a deemed to be let out property, that treatment, that house will be treated as a let out property itself. So basically, here we have studied three types of properties. The first is LOP that is let out property. The second is SOP, that is the property where the SSC himself is staying. And the third is DLOP, that is where SSC is staying in that house itself, but that is treated as LOP. So, that is why it is called DLOP. I hope you have understood today's session and in the next session we will continue further. Thank you.